Hey everybody, Kalani here, and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to make the hand finger sound on the conga drums so you can start to use all of the other three tones that I've shown you to create some traditional Afro-Cuban, Caribbean conga patterns and your own patterns. Some people call this heel-toe, and uh, this is, you use it for the same purpose, you use the hand fingers for the same purpose as heel-toe. Heel-toe is a technique that uh, was a little more popular some years ago, and some teachers still will use this terminology, but what it means is you're striking the drum with the heel and toe of your hand, or the palm and fingertips. It's kind of a teeter-totter uh, or seesaw motion, like that, back and forth. And there's nothing wrong with this motion, the sound is, it works fine. Um, my teachers and have, have shown me some other, other techniques that I prefer, so that's what I'm going to show you. And I call this hand fingers because what we're going to do is we're going to let our hand drop straight down on the head, like this, like the bass tone. So the hand sound is basically a bass tone. And then we're going to lift up from the wrist, um, or keeping the wrist anchored, we're going to lift our hand up, keeping the wrist down and then let our fingers fall. So that's what I mean by fingers. So hand is from the elbow, and fingers is from the wrist, or the base of the palm. So hand, fingers, hand, fingers. This is a great warm-up activity. You can do it with both hands. You can do it at the same time with both hands. Or you could do it alternating, like hand, hand, fingers, fingers, hand, hand, fingers, fingers. Or you could do hand, fingers, hand, fingers, alternating. However you want to do it, just practice hand, fingers, hand, fingers. And we usually do this in our non-dominant hand. So in this case, I'm using my left hand for the hand fingers, whereas usually I would use my right hand for the bass tone and slap. So hand finger sound, you're going to use this to fill in in between the other three tones when you play a pattern. For now, we're just going to practice the hand fingers pattern on its own. So you can get a metronome and play to the metronome. You might want to uh, change the rhythms. So if my metronome was a uh, click, 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 I can play click, 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 or click, 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 or click, 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 click. So get a metronome, practice with that, have some fun, play the different rhythms, use both hands, and warm up playing the hand fingers pattern. And then later, I'll show you how you can use it to make some ornaments and to create some traditional Afro-Cuban conga patterns. Thanks for watching, and for more, visit my website, kalanimusic.com or drumcirclemusic.com for community music making. Thanks!